I've always been fascinated by the bizarre world of quantum mechanics, where reality seems to defy our everyday intuitions. Today, we're diving deep into the realm of virtual particles, those ephemeral entities that flicker in and out of existence faster than we can blink. We're about to explore how these ghostly particles give rise to mind-bending phenomena like the Lamb Shift and the Casimir Effect, and we'll see how they're intimately connected to one of the cornerstones of quantum mechanics, the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Let's start by asking a seemingly simple question. What is empty space? In classical physics, it's just that, empty. But quantum mechanics tells us a different story. The vacuum, it turns out, is anything but empty. It's a seething foam of virtual particles constantly popping in and out of existence. These virtual particles are like the quantum world's version of a magic trick. They appear out of nowhere, exist for the briefest of moments, and then vanish back into the quantum foam. To understand virtual particles, we need to talk about quantum field theory. In this framework, the fundamental constituents of the universe aren't particles, but fields. These fields permeate all of space and time. Particles in this view are just excitations of these fields, like waves on the ocean. Now, you might be wondering, what does this have to do with virtual particles? Well, quantum fields are never truly at rest. They're always fluctuating, even in their lowest energy state. Let's talk about one of the most striking manifestations of virtual particles, the Lamb Shift. Named after Willis Lamb, who first observed it in 1947, the Lamb Shift is a small difference in energy levels of an electron in a hydrogen atom that shouldn't exist according to the simple quantum theory. But here's the thing, it does exist, and virtual particles are the culprit. The electron in the hydrogen atom is constantly emitting and reabsorbing virtual photons. This process ever so slightly changes the electron's energy levels, resulting in the Lamb shift. Now, let's move on to another mind-bending consequence of virtual particles, the Casimir effect. Imagine two uncharged metal plates in a vacuum, placed very close together. Classical physics would tell you that nothing should happen. But in the quantum world, something incredible occurs. The plates are pushed together by an invisible force. This force arises because the space between the plates is too small for certain wavelengths of virtual particles to exist. Outside the plates, however, all wavelengths are possible. This creates a pressure difference pushing the plates together. It's as if we're squeezing the vacuum itself and feeling it push back. Um, it's kind of like trying to push two slices of bread together in a ball pit. The balls outside push the slices together more than the few balls that can fit between them. Now, let's shift gears and talk about one of the most fundamental principles in quantum mechanics, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. You've probably heard of it in terms of position and momentum. The more precisely you know a particle's position, the less precisely you can know its momentum, and vice versa. But there's another form of this principle that's less well-known but equally profound. The time-energy uncertainty relation. It states that the uncertainty in a system's energy multiplied by the time over which it's measured can't be smaller than a certain value. In other words, if you look at a system for a very short time, its energy can be very uncertain. It's like trying to catch a glimpse of a hummingbird's wings. The faster you try to look, the blurrier the image becomes. You might be wondering, how does this time-energy uncertainty relate to the more familiar position-momentum uncertainty? Well, they're two sides of the same quantum coin. Just as we can't simultaneously know a particle's exact position and momentum, we can't precisely measure its energy over an arbitrarily short time. This time-energy uncertainty is crucial for understanding virtual particles. It allows energy to be borrowed from the vacuum for very short periods, giving rise to those particle-antiparticle pairs we talked about earlier. 
It's like the quantum world is constantly taking out tiny loans from the universe's energy bank as long as it pays them back quickly enough. Um, think of it as a cosmic payday loan service, but with much stricter repayment terms. Now let's connect the dots. The Lamb Shift, the Casimir Effect, and the Time Energy Uncertainty Principle are all intimately linked through virtual particles. These quantum fluctuations, allowed by the time energy uncertainty, cause the lamb shift in atoms and the mysterious force in the Casimir effect. It's as if virtual particles are the hidden threads that tie together the fabric of the quantum universe. You might think these quantum effects are just curiosities, confined to the realm of theoretical physics, but they have real-world implications. The Casimir effect, for instance, becomes significant in nanotechnology, where components are so small that these quantum forces can't be ignored. It's like building a sandcastle where each grain of sand has its own tiny gravitational field. At some point, you can't ignore the sand's gravity anymore. As we've seen, virtual particles, the lamb shift, the Casimir effect, and the uncertainty principle are all threads in the grand web of quantum mechanics. They remind us that the universe is far stranger and more interconnected than our everyday experiences suggest. It's a cosmic web of interactions where the tiniest fluctuations can have far-reaching consequences. As we wrap up our quantum journey, remember that what we've explored today is just the tip of the iceberg. The quantum world is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and who knows? Maybe you'll be the one to make the next big breakthrough in quantum physics. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking for the quantum weirdness hiding in plain sight.